Japanese painting is explored by taking into account issues showing traditional Japanese style, which are scroll painting, emaki, screen painting, shogiega, Buddhist painting, butsuga, and ink painting, swubakuga. When the Buddhist culture reached Japan, Chinese style painting was also starting to become visible throughout Japan. Not only the influence of China affected Japan but also that of the Buddhist mural paintings from India. These roots of Japanese painting are seen throughout their whole culture and they teach us the root of Japanese art. The Asuka period was one of the greatest periods of transformation that Japan has ever had. During this period new forms of philosophy, medicine, music, foods, clothing, arts and architecture were introduced into Japan from China and Korea. One of the most significant introductions to Japan was Buddhism. After Buddhism was adopted by the imperial family it soon became the state religion. Buddhism offered new and rich teachings of meditation and enlightenment. The new religion developed new aspects of the Asian culture, including newly profound methods of painting. The painting Hungry Tigress Jankle depicts one of the stories from Buddha's past life. In this painting it is shown how Buddha sacrifices his body in order to feed a hungry tigress and her cubs. The tigers are so weak that Buddha must jump off a cliff to break open his flesh. Buddha's gracefulness is emphasized through the curves of the rocky cliff and by the bamboo trees. The elegant renditions of Buddha represent the international Buddhist style which was shared also among China and Korea. This Janka tale helps Buddhism spread through Japan. The Nara period was named for Japan's first permanent imperial capital. By establishing a permanent capital, the Japanese culture was able to reach a new era of growth and consolidation. While Shinto became the more formalized religion, Buddhism became the most significant element of the Japanese culture. Copying the words of Buddha was considered an affecting act of worshipping. During this period Japan evolved around poetry and Buddhist verses. Some of the finest Buddhist paintings are on the Horyuji wall. Scholars believe that these paintings represent the golden age of Buddhist painting. One of the finest painting is the Amida Buddha. The Amida Buddha is the Buddha of the Western Paradise. Amida is painted with thin even brush strokes known as the iron wire lines. Amida's body is rounded, his face is fully flushed and his hands form the Dharma Chakra which reveals the Buddhist law. Instead of the somewhat abstract style of the Asuka period, there is a greater emphasis on the realistic features and details of the body weight. The parallel folds of drapery show the influence of the Gandhara style which was current in India at that time. Amida's face shows the influence of East Asia. The Nara period was an age of faith, because the Buddhist influence had become empowering so they moved the capital of Japan to Koyoto, which marked the end of the Nara period. After the move of the capital to Koyoto, two major religious groups emerged from the Heian period. First, the esoteric Buddhism and then pure land Buddhism. Esoteric Buddhism was strongly influenced by Hinduism and it grew to dominate the Japanese religious life. Esoteric Buddhism included a number of deities which had magical powers. The historical Buddha was no longer important, instead the universal Buddha called Dianichi which means, Great Sun in Japanese was believed to preside over the universe. Dianichi was accompanied by the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas as well as guardian deities. All the deities have a complex relationship to each other, learning all the different gods in their relationship was considered a great work of art. Mandalas are cosmic diagrams of the universe which portray the deities in a schematic order. The womb world mandala painting shows Dianichi who is at the center and is surrounded by Buddhas. Other deities branch out in diagrammatical order, each with a specific symbol of power. The mandala represents the ultimate reality beyond the visible world. Esoteric Buddhist images have a strong sense of spiritual force. Esoteric Buddhism has intricate theology, complex doctrines. It was a religion for the educated aristocracy and it was also parallel to the Heian court. During the later half of the Heian period, 
there was a decline of Buddhism. Pure Land Buddhism became prominent in Japan after Esoteric Buddhism. It taught that the Western Paradise of the Amida Buddha could be reached through nothing more than faith. Pure Land Buddhism appealed to people of all levels of education and has remained the most practiced religion in Japan since then. One of the secular paintings from Japan is a series of scenics from the tale of Genji which is done in women's hand painting style. This style was characterized by delicate lines, strong colors, and a symmetrical composition usually viewed from above. This painting has a bird's eye viewpoint which is an elevated view of an object from above, with a perspective as though the observer were a bird. The painting mostly showed court figures in architectural setting with some natural elements to help set the mood of the scene. The figures in the painting do not show their emotions directly on their faces, instead the feels are conveyed through colors, poses, and the overall composition of the piece. This particular scene shows the happy Prince Jinji holding his baby son born by his wife, Madison. The baby was not conceived by the prince himself but by another court noble. Since Genji has not been faithful to Nihazen, he cannot complain. The real father of the child dies unable to be acknowledged. This painting which should be a happy scene, is full of irony and sorrow. This irony has even greater effect since Genji himself is an illegitimate son of an emperor. This scene does not focus on the people involved, instead it evolves around the screen that squeezes Genji and his wife into a corner. This shows how courtly society has forced them into an unfortunate situation. During the Heian era people neglected their responsibilities for governing the country. The samurai outside the capital grew strong, due to conflict of the imperial court the samurai leaders soon became the real powers of Japan. One of the greatest hand scrolls is the night attack on the Sanjo Palace. This battle was painted over 100 years after the battle depicted from a sense of eyewitness reporting on the event. This style of painting includes lively line work and a more refined brushwork, color and bird's eye viewpoint. Unlike the Genji scroll, night attack is full of action, violence and power. The era of poems and mantras was now over in Japan the world of the samurai began to dominate. Pure Land Buddhism taught that even the greatest sinner of all could chant a sacred chant once and could be lead to the western paradise. Paintings called Raigo, meaning welcoming approach, were created depicting Amida Buddha. Raigo paintings are quite different from the Mandalus and esoteric Buddhism, they convey warmth and compassion. One great Raigo is the one portraying Amida Buddha and 25 Bata sandals descending over the mountains. There is gold paint and silvers of gold leaf cut in elaborate manner to show the radiance of their draperies. The sparkle of the gold is highlighted by the dark silk behind them so the deities will seem to come from the surface of the painting. These works would be in a dying person's home and the believer would hope that Amida would escort him to the western paradise. Towards the end of the Kamakura period, Zen Buddhism reached Japan. Zen had come from China where it was already well developed and was called Chen. Zen resembles the historical teaching of the original Buddha. Zen emphasized on individuals finding their own enlightenment without the help of magical chants or deities. This appealed to the self-disciplined spirit of the samurai warriors. period focused most of its paintings off of Zen Buddhism. The main style of painting during this time was ink paintings. Ink paintings are painted using monochrome colors with black and gray ink. In the beginning of the period ink paintings showed a subtle and refined approach on painting and based a lot of their ideas of the Chinese. Bunshi Ice Landscape shows the subtleness of this time with the large empty spaces and the overall calming feeling of the work. The empty space in this work is water, and represents the lonely and serene way of the spirit. This is traditional of the Zen style. Ink paintings from the Muromaki period later turn to show more violent themes die to outbreaks of civil warfare. The painting Winter Landscape conveys this with its sharp jagged brushstrokes and the manner at which the harsh winter is shown. 
During the Edo period Zen Buddhism was replaced by Neo-Confucianism, loyalty to the state due to this Japan became closed to the world. A lot of schools for the arts were formed during this time to help artists. The Rinpo school of painting preached decorative designs and strong and expressive force in brush strokes. Rinpo painters specialized in a modeled effect, which is shown in pair of six panel screens, known as the Matsushima screens. They show islands which are organic forms which are surrounded by a modeled ink. Nangla and Maruayama were two schools of art established in the Edo period. They both shared the focus of suiting their works towards the tastes of the upper middle class. The Nanga school blended Chinese works and ideas with Japanese aesthetics. The school used a lot of calligraphy and poetry in their paintings. This can be seen in Gisa's land in the high wind. In his work we see an erupting volcano in the background. The way he shows the birds swirling, the manner in which the winds are depicted, and the desire he shows the birds having to leave so the skill of his work. The wind is also highly regarded due to its form and how it seems almost hurricane-like. Around this time Zen painting came back about. Paintings from this time were of everyday people and scenes so they could be easily be understood by merchants and farmers. Unfortunately, this didn't work too well. Zen Buddhism was spread more, but the art words weren't extremely popular. People of this time, mainly merchants of the upper middle class were more focused on having art that showed wealth, such as gold screens. The Maryam Shijo school arose to satisfy the want for decorative words of this sort. The school created works that incorporated shading and perspective. Their works also took the idea of Zen painting and used scenes of everyday life as well in people and animals. Pine tree and snow painted by Okio shows everyday life through the tree. It also satisfies the middle classes want for elegant and simple works. The Meiji period begins when national seclusion of Japan is ended. In this period there is a lot of influence of the West in the paintings. Japanese painters began to move from Japan to other countries while teachers from countries such as Italy and America were brought to Japan. One American teacher named Fina Oso went to Japan to teach art. A Japanese pupil of his urged artists to study traditional Japanese works. Okakura Kakuza also said that painters should less Western influences and ideas in their works, and keep it true to Japan. Artists such as Taikan developed their style off this genre, known as Rinpa. Rinpa works offer pictorial space, they also do not use outline, rather, defines forms and fields of color are practiced. Floating Lights by Yokoyama Taikan shows the open space, as well as not using outlines. This particular work was inspired by a trip to India. Modern Japanese art has both Western and Native aspects. Artists such as Tokashi Murakami incorporate manga and anime in their works. Modern works tend to emphasize flat forms and undulating lines. There's a lot of involvement with pop culture as well as consumer culture. Magic Ball, positive, shows reference to anime and also shows ties to consumer culture.